Centuries have passed and the world is again at war. Mechanical warriors are now fighting for us. Our human commanders lead them and guide them and on the earth and below its surface as well as on the moon, the war rages. When the dust settles, only one will emerge, the victor. The war is about to begin. Let's set up the board. Place the game board in the center of the play area. Place the score chart and the moon to the side of the game board. Each player chooses an army by color. Rich is gold. Eric is red. Jeff is blue. Previous wars have taken their toll. Flip over the top four land territory cards and place a devastation marker in each of those territories. No one can ever go in these wastelands. These cards are placed in the discard pile. Cannot go in or through them. They're out of play. Each player gets his initial number of machines of destruction, which are the main troops in risk 2210. There are three types of tokens, indicating one, three, and five machines of destruction. We will use the one mod, which represents a single unit. Because we have three players, each person gets 35 mods to begin. Each player also starts with three energy counters, one land commander, one diplomat, and a space station. Now roll the dice, see who goes first. Last number goes first. Placing one mod at a time, this is the long setup. Optional setup is you deal out the cards and that's what you get. Otherwise, you take one turn at a time, placing one mod on an open land territory. You cannot go into a water territory or the moon to start. Since there are no more open territories, then you go three at a time. <clears throat> then finally, Place your land commander, your diplomat, and your space station in a territory that you control. Remember, all of these items defend with a 10 sided die. Now it's time to bid to see who goes first for his turn. The person who bids the most can choose when to take his or her turn. Each player secretly chooses how many energy markers he wants to bid. I bid the most in one, so I choose who goes first, which is me. Well, that's different than the rules. That's actually, you choose who the marker is. Anyways, now I get to collect my energy markers and additional mods. I control 12 ter territories, so by looking at the status card, I get four energy markers and four mods. I also get three ad additional for controlling Africa and Australia. Wow. Who let that guy get all that stuff to start? <clears throat> I can choose to hire commanders and space stations if I want. A commander costs three energy and a space station costs five energy. Click on the token to show what it does. Land commander. Roll the multi-sided die when invading to or from a land territory. Sea Commander. Same bonus, to or from the sea territories. What if I'm on Florida and I'm attacking Nova Scotia off of that? 
you get the bonus. Nuke Commander always gets a bonus. Space Commander must be alive in order to move units to the moon from a territory with a space station and can buy new space command cards. Diplomat, you can buy and use diplomat cards. And that's about it. You can defend. Space Station. You must move troops from a territory that you own that contains a space station. It cannot attack, but all units in its territory defend with a D8 slash D10. Also, you get one mod on your space station each time. Okay. Great, Rich. Good job. You're buying that. You have lots of money left. What do you want to do? I will buy land cards and a diplomat card because I have them alive. Great, great. You must buy all your cards at once before looking at them. Now I can read them and play them or hold them for later. Colony Influencer doesn't do anything. I'm going to hold that for the end of the game. I will play Mod Reduction, which costs me two energy, and it says everybody in turn order has to take two off. Oh, look at that. Pause that and rewind it if you want to read it. So now it starts to play just like Risk. I'm attacking from one place to another place. I decide where. So we know who loses troops. I roll three attacking die, which means I can lose up to two people. Because Jeff is going to defend someday. Are we going to roll? Here we go. So a defender can only roll two die. Attacker can have three. Six, five, and three. We match the highest and the highest. So two, six beats the two, and a five beats the one. All right. Next. He keeps going. Keeps attacking. Yeah, four and four. Defender ties. So the win goes to the defender. Uh, Rich, you lose one guy. Great. Attacks again. Rich, you got it. He has. He moves four mods in that territory, leaving the required one behind. He's done here. Now he's going to go into the sea. There's nobody there, so it's uncontested. They don't count as beating anyone, so he doesn't get to take a victory card for that. But he does own now the entire water colony. Now he's fortifying from this territory into that. And it's the next person's turn. Fortification always ends. My turn, I end, blah, blah, blah. I get four mods and four energy markers. I don't control any continents, so no bonuses and no bonus armies. Great. I want to take over the moon. To get there, I will need a space commander. I'll spend three energy on a space commander and five energy for an extra space station. Wow. That's thorough. Okay. He doesn't buy any command cards because I think he's out of money. And he can go up in one of the three dots on the moon. Tycho, Sea of Crisis, or Bay of Dew. Uh, the red's worth two bonus, the purple's worth two bonus, and the green is worth four bonus. So he's taking all of them up to the green. And then he also decides to attack Egypt. Because why not? He gets a bonus because of his land commander, so he's rolling this bonus die. Uh, Egypt has a space station, which is kind of like a bunker, so he's going to defend with two eight-sided die. So imagine all these guys are in that bunker. They're all shooting out. They have a maximum D. Eight to seven and one to four, so one each. And he's coming again. It's going to attack again. Same setup because only one died each. Six, 
seven to five and six to five. So, uh, Middle East, you lost two. And that's how they continue. And that's, I believe, the end of this quick demo. Yay! Hope that helps you figure out how to play.